Welcome all. To begin with, this series is called Marion 2019. We get to know Emma, a well-known essayist, as a fundamental person, a which by the name of Marion once existed. This book has made a ton of money however that may be. She claims Marion has entered this world. Emma currently poses a threat to you and your friends and family since she has taken control of my mother, assuming you stop rambling endlessly about Marion. Everyone is going to D. It's important to mention that because this child's mother's spirit was inside of her, Emma was terrified by her and her delusions. Emma doesn't believe these things. So, with the intention of the young woman herself finishing her statement, additionally put some notes saying to give it to my mum and a moment of following this episode. Concerns, she has been living alone for a while and hasn't come home, so she's starting to become a little anxious about it. With her side job, she travels to her hometown. She also visits the fan's mother the following morning after she puzzlingly passed away. Arriving here, Emma discovered that the mother of that young lady is actually Varian, who tells Emma that you should go on and on about me. It won't be wonderful if you don't do this for, I'll put, with your parents to death. Emma is currently meeting her lifelong friends, who have known her for a long time. However that may be, she is not currently writing anything. As a result, Marion's occupation makes her mother and father disappear. The spirit of Marion used to rule over everyone. Here, the coward bag is displayed to us. And that suggests that she will be anywhere. She will put everyone under her control. And start to recall her tale once more. Additional more. Any composition she was working on. Everything was proving to be legitimate. Emma's mother then went back to her, however that may be. Marion insisted that Emma should keep talking about him. An auditor assist, doing this, who indeed had some knowledge of black enchantment. Emma had a great friend too, in any case. Strangely, Marion had the ability to influence people's churches as well allowing her to project whatever she chose. Currently, we know what happened when Emma visits this village. What else? Why she frequently appeared in Emma's fantasies. Marion was thus born on a Tuesday in the year 1587. Additionally, her home was completely burnt down when she was seven years old. Where only Marion and her cat came to the surface. Then, Marion was brought up by her sister. But that location will also be ready soon, weirdly here. For only Marion and her cat may have survived when everyone else passed away. Then, at that time, then she married at the age of 17. In any case, her cat was very close to the flames, which is why she perished from burns. She had two more children at that moment. She took a really dangerous action. Additionally, she slit her potter's throat. Both children and adults were slaughtered in large numbers. Then she was slain by having a cross placed on her. Marion, Jean, however, had made a promise to herself that she would never break. Since I never leave with virtually nothing, I will inconvenience you and your children in the future. In general, I bring something. She was currently 15 feet below the surface. Also, she hid the agreement she had with the devil, so that if Marion, Marion was never properly finished. Her tongue was in front of Emma's house. Emma went to her once while she was growing up because there was a small tunnel there, and she caught a peek of what was within. That Marion needs to enter the world via her. She overheard a strange voice. Marion had chosen Emma to bring back to this world, so to speak. So after a period of growth, she told her friends about it. And they all gathered together later that evening. She uses magic to summon Marion's ghost. And it works. However, Marion's ghost enters Emma and startles everyone, which causes one of Emma's companions to become severely frightened. Additionally, Emma also quietens. When Marion's spirit entered her at this time, she warned Emma's friends that she was putting their loved ones in danger, so Emma went to her younger sister at school so she could speak for her. Where Marion entered it into them, then killed her sister's companion. What else? Emma had personally witnessed this. However that may be, Emma kept this information to herself since she was so afraid after this incident. Emma greets her father at the congregation. She is informed by the father that Marion's spirit has left with you. Also, 
She won't abandon you so easily. Additionally, she started acting badly in her hometown, which is why her parents expelled her, and he later achieved fame as an essayist. Additionally, in light of her past, she was constantly being impacted by alcohol. The story is currently being told once more. Emma had been suffering from the loss of her companion's sister. This is point. The startling as Emma greets her father at the congregation. She is informed by the father that Marion's spirit has left with you. Also, she won't abandon you so easily. Additionally, she started acting badly in her hometown, which is why her parents expelled her, and he later achieved fame as an essayist. Additionally, in light of her past, she was constantly being impacted by alcohol. The story is currently being told once more. Emma had been suffering from the loss of her companion's sister. This is point. The startling as no one other than Emma was the one who eloquently discussed her. But whatever. Emma was quite anxious. However, the reviewer put a lot of effort into this case. When he first meets Emma, he tells her about the stories you wrote about in your book. The ball club is dead thanks to you. Everyone had to acknowledge that we were all hearing the tunes while conversing, which suggested that Marion was inspiring Emma to come up with such a wide variety of tales. This was true in reality since, when someone learned about Marion, they frequently began to dream about her. The greater your desire for her, Marion will be even more amazing. Each of her companions made their way back to the same beacon from where Marion had been summoned quite some time before. Right before that, she gave her another call. She entered Emma's psychic's office, which was located in the clinic, and where Emma had also gone, she then contacted it. But her friend Marion, nevertheless, and continues, they receive a sidekick from her. Then she arrives, as per their agreement. The spirit will be held captive inside the dock and secured somewhere, with the intention of not harming anyone else. He is killed when she enters the auditorium and also Emma's additional companion. All of Emma's friends now agree that she should continue to talk about Marion so that everyone's reality is preserved. Emma's beloved male companion, who is now here, who arrives, whatever the case, these two spend the entire night together before down. Nobody was present. When Emma starts to look, the chime starts to ring. Emma was afraid because the congregation father was standing at the entrance and she was showing him the crucifix. She then started beating him. She dashes into her room. Her father informs her that it is Tuesday today. Additional more. Marion has once more been conceived. Additional more. You are Emma. You say Marion is still inside of you. She won't believe this just yet. She responds okay when her father asks whether she is Marion. The ghost of Marion enters him. She also does harm to the dead. And the whole narrative. It has been established that anyone who possesses Marion in his body is unable to claim to be Marion. That whoever was currently required. She locates Marion his decomposing body. Emma should come with me to my reality. She advises. Emma's friend actually realized that she was in grave danger. She puts a sturdy keepsake around Emma's neck after going to her house. It might help her live. Considering that Emma's body was present in this planet. Emma won't accompany her. Tell with me. That suggests Emma had awakened. Emma had to in her life. So that I'm with her. Mary also passes away and Marion, however, was stopping her there. In order to save Emma. The father also had to go to Mary in his grave and set it on fire. Marion was living in a damn reality. That dad also destroys Marion's tomb. And Emma had a plague rope. However that may be. He had been drawn inside by the Marion spirit. Who then consumes and chews the dust. Alongside that. Emma's father was in perfect health. But he is also killed. Unlike before today. His relationship with Emma had improved to an exceptional level. Emma also regained her telepathic ability. Her ability to speak. However, had been lost. Emma welcomes her male friend and fills. He yelled before walking away. Here Emma becomes very anxious. She queries her psychic about if Marion took her to the deep ocean. She hasn't spoken as of yet. She now claims that I had seen her additional times. Emma asks again after being taken aback. In case she becomes pregnant, she packs a pregnancy testing device with her. 
the opinion of Emma. Such a joke. That cannot happen at all. You know. Them not wed, nevertheless, she test. She would actually give birth to a child. Currently. That evening, he stayed with Ember since he has to rev of Marion. Marion is also within Ember's body. The next explanation might be that Marion herself that evening. Send it to Emma so that Marion might be born a second time in Emma's womb, says that he was created specifically for Emma. Given that he chose Emma right away, what do you think? Please let us know in the comment section. Also in anticipation of this scene, this concludes this series.